It's lovely to imagine a master bedroom with plenty of room for a chaise lounge, a fireplace, and a walk-in closet. But the reality is that not everyone has that luxury. If you arrange it well, a compact primary bedroom can be elegant and functional. In order to help you make the most of a small sleeping space, we scoured the work of 12 of our favorite small master bedroom upgrades for your inspiration. As always, Simp Home curates you with the list. Number 12. How to build a Murphy bed that easily transforms into a desk. The bed kits sold by Hidden Bed come with all necessary pieces already cut and sized for easy assembly. In addition to the whole kit, which includes the blueprints, offer the hardware kit separately. Instead of spending around $1,200 on a pre-cut kit, you can save money by constructing the bed yourself. Beds with a strip of LED lights and cork boards affixed to the underside can be made even more practical. On HiddenBedUSA.com, you can get the necessary components for a twin bed for around $300. Number 11. The DIY Platform Bed with a Built-in Nightstand The three primary pieces of this bed are the non-visible inner foundation, the visible outer shell, the headboard with attached nightstands. Begin the project from the very center. Remember that you will hide this from view, so while it should be square, aesthetics aren't as important. Make sure to use the downloadable cut list when preparing the boards for the inner foundation. Put in the bed's legs and rail supports, mount the bed rail brackets, and then fashion the slats. Number 10. The Corner Floating Bed Cut the 2x4s in half diagonally and arrange them in a rectangle for the first step. The top and bottom 2x4s are positioned inside the exterior 2x4s. The next step is to cut three 24 boards and arrange them in the middle of the rectangle at regular intervals. Get out the drill and some screws since you'll need to fasten the 2x4s together. The next step is to gather your 2x6 boards to construct the base for the platform. You can determine the location of the inset by placing your 2x6 boards underneath the top platform. Install the last 2x6 support in the middle of the bottom platform using a drill and screws. Number 9. A four-poster bed to emphasize height. Consider a tall bed as the centerpiece of your bedroom to acquire most of the space provided by the high ceiling. Melanie Miller, president and founder of the Design Atelier in Atlanta, said that the bed's height draws attention to the room's volume and ceiling height. To achieve this look, you'll need a bed with a lot of architectural detail and a low profile. Number 8. Focus on the accent wall. About accent walls, you can construct a nice tufted headboard like in the image with a pegboard, foam, a stapler, and ceiling high buttons. To create this headboard, set the pegboard on the floor to measure the foam. Once the foam is cut to size, desize on a pattern and mark the pegboard for buttons. Attach 1x4s to the board's edges to add support. Next, transfer the markings to the foam using a pegboard. Then remove the pegboard and cut out the foam section. Then glue the foam to the pegboard and make sure the markings match the holes. Number 7. An Ingenious Floating Bedroom Shelving Idea by At Zoetrope Furniture Enjoy some downtime with your favorite books or houseplants. By the end of this do-it-yourself project, you'll have something more than simply a standard floating shelf. Not only that, but it's the kind of distinctive and rustic we've never seen before. This piece's presence would benefit any space from a bedroom to a kitchen. It was initially planned as a floating alder kitchen shelf with fixed panels. Shelf hardware by At Shelfology and At Odisoil for final touches. Number 6. A Small Master Closet Makeover, Barnhouse Style Measure where you plan to store your clothes, then consult a container store designer. The designer will return in 20 minutes with a print of your closet complete with the wood tone, bracket color, handles, and a unique height that will prevent your long dresser from brooming the floor. The container store will send an installer, but the process is well documented and easily reproducible to save money. Eventually, you'll get vertical tracks connected to wall studs by rails and adjustable shelves. The ingenious plugs will snap into the tracks to conceal holes and blend in. The shelf can also accommodate around 36 shoes. Still relevant to closet management, we've already published 10 minimalist closet ideas on Simphome. The countdown will expand your closet organization perspective, and this time, you don't have to rely on any corporate initiative to get your room more clutter-free with some financial compensation as returned. With that said, let's continue our countdown with Number 5. A Farmhouse Storage Bed for a Master Bedroom with Hidden Drawer With slight adjustments, Anna White's idea for a queen farmhouse bed and a queen farmhouse storage bed will be your guides. 
First, build a faceplate for the drawer boxes and tweak them to maximize storage. Euro drawer sliders expand drawer size. Using the hidden latches inside, you may remove your footboard to make it higher than your mattress. To accommodate the new concealed drawer, you must replace the optional center support with pocket-screwed 4x4 blocks. Birch plywood and fur lumber are your recommended materials. Number 4. A little update for a small slanted master bedroom with a big storage impact. As can be seen from the photographs, there was hardly any room to access the area under the staircase in the smaller nook that is often utilized for usable dead space. Craig provides three iron pipe bars that you may use to hang items at varying lengths so they can dry. Craig also made the wooden shelf attached to the shiplap wall and supported by pipes. The long wooden shelf is another do-it-yourself project that conceals the wall bump in a more aesthetically pleasing view. Number 3. A floating bookshelf idea for the small master bedroom Is your master bedroom boring? If you want a more practical and attractive space, consider this easy upgrade from Family Handyman. Take a miter saw to one end of the 2x6 and cut a 45-degree angle. Make two 6-inch cuts for the angles, A. Create a new cut at 1.5 inches for the side, B. Each end, B, should have a 3-8-inch Forstner drilled counter bore drilled into it. Get a drill and some pilot holes, then clamp the frames together. To free the sides from the clamps, you must drill a clearance hole through the counter bores. Number 2. The second DIY platform bed with floating nightstands this time with extra cute lights. Cut 8-inch wood to size and create the bed's frame. Be sure to measure your bedroom before building a bed. Sand the surfaces and paint the bottom frame glossy black. Build the mattress supports by placing evenly spaced lumber slats. Use thin timber slats to make mattress supports. Cut a plywood piece to size and fill it with bespoke timber sizes. After filling the entire plywood size solid, this will be your headboard. Finally, fix LED light strips to the headboard's back. Before we complete the countdown with our final choice of the current list, we'd like to inform you that if you need other improvement ideas, you have Simphome Content Collections on your side. There, we cover other interesting topics such as garden, home improvement, finance, bathroom upgrade, bedroom update ideas, and many more. We'll see you there, and until we meet again sometime in the future, let's close our countdown with number one. The Inspiring Toggling Bed for a Tiny Master Bedroom if you want an extra bed that you can toggle up to save space for something else, the last suggestion is the one that will work best for you. The rotation is carried out by hand using a metal screw of 6 mm in diameter. You can access Google if you are interested in the 3D results. The guide also includes the SketchUp file, which contains accurate measurements. Extra, you can add a hole in the frame and a hole in the supporting strut on either side that you could slip through to prevent it from tumbling abruptly. That's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching the video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Like the video if you believe it will motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly though, it's more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project. See you again soon!